And we'd also especially like to thank the committee that put this dedication ceremony together, Mr. Ray Miller, Brant Miller, Larry Hyrant, Brent Fleissner, Mrs. Debbie Kessler, Mr. Jeff Marquis, and high school principal Tim Royal. Tonight we have with us members of the Gary family. We would like to thank them very much for all of their hard work in keeping Fort Cherry moving forward. And we know that in the hands of Tim Gary that we're going to be led on to more victories as he works in the large shadow of his dad. Players, cheerleaders, please face the stands. Fans in the stands, please. Give a big round of applause to those that led us to victory on the field. In addition to the football game tonight, we all know the main reason that we're here tonight is to dedicate Ranger Field to Jim Gary Stadium honoring all associated with the life and legacy of Jim Gary. Through 44 years as the head coach of Ranger football, he compiled a record of 265, 153, and 14. He was two-time Tri-County Coach of the Year and was inducted into both the Pennsylvania Scholastic Coaches Hall of Fame and the Washington Green County Hall of Fame. Quotes from two former players of Coach Gary's and fellow Washington Green County Hall of Famers are emblematic of his graceful style. He was everything that was right about high school activities, said Marvin Lewis, head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. And I admired him when I played for him and coached against him, said John Hott, former Chargers Houston High School head coach. In addition to coaching and teaching thousands of Fort Cherry youth, Coach Gary counted NFL coaches Marty and Kurt Schottenheimer and NFL player Perry Kemp as his protégés. Jim Gary was a teacher, coach, family man, and friend. He was a man of unquestioned integrity. His life was committed to leadership and service. There has been no greater job of coaching high school athletes than that put forth by Coach Gary. For that, all ever associated with Ranger Nation are proud and humbled to have been linked to a man who would be proudly humbled to have our stadium be known from this point forward as, and at this time I am gonna ask Ray Miller, who has been the behind the scenes booster, working with many of you, to make sure the Fort Cherry football is successful, do the dedication. After he makes the dedication, we will unveil the sign and have a fireworks display. Mr. Miller. Thank you, Dr. Denham. Let it be known from this day forward, this field will be known as Jim Gary Stadium. Thank you, Ranger fans, and we turn it over to the booth. Sportsmanship is pride in your school, your team, and yourself. Sportsmanship is respect for the game of football and those who play it. Sportsmanship means taking personal responsibility for keeping this game at a high level of fair play. Sportsmanship is appreciation of all performances and a grateful acceptance of results. We welcome you to Fort Cherry High School and ask you to remember sportsmanship. The only missing piece is you. Enjoy the game, everybody. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, to please rise and gentlemen, please remove your hats as we honor this great country. 
As a 2008 Fort Cherry Ranger Marching Band performs our national anthem to be followed by the Fort Cherry Alma Mater. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2008 Fort Cherry Ranger Marching Band will be performing for you at halftime. Also at halftime, we will be recognizing members of the band, members past, band members, majorettes, and drill team. Those members will be recognized.